This video is to briefly explain the primary difference between the TLEX and TLTERM software editing packages. Um, both are very similar and share much of the same uh, advanced editing functionality. Um, but uh, TLEX uh, is tailored for lexicography, i.e. dictionary making, and TL term is tailored for terminology. Um, and the primary difference is that uh, terminology is concept centric or concept centered. Um, each entry in a, ter in a terminology database corresponds to a particular concept, such as the concept of a dog. Um, and the um, uh, translations or words in each language, such so English or Afrikaans or French, um, are basically um, treated on an equal level as uh, terms or translations for the concept of a dog. So no single language is uh, central. The concept is central and all the languages are subordinate to the concept. Um, uh, with, with dictionary making, um, in lexicography, each entry corresponds to a word or orthographic form in a particular language, such as the word dog or the word canine, which I'll presume to be approximately a synonym for dog here. So in TLEX, we may have an entry for dog and then a separate entry for the word canine, and we may create a these are two different entries for the word dog, for the word canine, and we may create a cross-reference from one to the other. So um, this is something I added. This wasn't in the original data. I just added it now for the purposes of demonstration. Um, so we may have a cross-reference from uh, one entry to the other entry if they are synonyms. In TL term, um, if they are synonyms, then they should be basically the same concept. So if we create an entry for dog, or for the concept of a dog, um, then a synonym such as canine, the noun canine, uh, should not be added as a separate entry, but rather added as a synonym within the same entry. And we do that by adding additional terms here. Um, and then what looks like a cross-reference canine with an arrow pointing to dog is actually automatically generated in an alphabetical listing by TL term for you. To give the to, to the in other words the cross reference there is essentially automatically generated when it generates an alphabetical listing to indicate um, that canine um, is a synonym of the primary entry dog, which we may then uh, translate to uh, other languages. Um, the, um, and thus in TL term we have one main additional because because the database is actually uh, a database of entries each corresponding to a concept um, there is no particular actual alphabetic sort order per se, um, one has this drop down in the top left from which one selects which language which one is working in and uh, TL term then sorts, um, you know, will alphabetically sort the entries uh, according to the selected language. So we can resort the entries and say work in OZA or work in um, Afrikaans and this terminology list becomes an alphabetically sorted of Afrikaans list in this case of um, those concepts. Um, T legs does not have that drop down, and that's it. That's the main. That's the main difference. There is a section in the user guide also explaining the primary difference. Uh, that's it. Um, now in dictionary, in a typical dictionary, if the word dog has more than one meaning or sense, um, these would be added as multiple senses under the word dog, or possibly as a homonym. 
um, well, in term, in TL term, a different meaning or different sense of the word dog um, is a different, given it's a different meaning or a different sense, is actually a different concept and thus would be a separate entry entirely, but which just happens to have the same um, English translation, say, dog, as another concept.